The, the, the healing period with that procedure is a bit more restrictive, whereas with the liposuction, you say just take it easy for the first week or two and then away you go. Uh, the worst that can happen is you might have a little extra swelling or bruising if they get too active too early, but it's, it's really very hard to damage anything with the liposuction alone, the submental liposuction. Whereas the neck, if you're more at risk for things like hematoma, uh, seroma, which is a collection of blood or serum under the skin in the first uh, few hours or a few days after the surgery, um, but if you're not seeing any of that in the first few days, it's, it's very unlikely to, to occur, you know, days or weeks down the road. So I usually tell them to take it easy for a couple of weeks. What I often say is a couch potato, so nothing to get their heart rate up and just be a bit robotic in their motions and moving around. <clears throat> and after two weeks, they get into a little like cardio, a little like stretching. So by, the, by the end of four weeks, they're back doing everything normally that they'd be doing today. You know, tennis, golf, cycling, swimming, going to the gym, all that sort of stuff. So four weeks. So there's more healing, there's more restrictions on the, the neck lift in the, in the post-operative period.